Alright, so we just got the uh tranny off and alright. Show you what we found. Alright, so this it just fell off. Why? Because the pin that holds it in is down here in pieces. Yay. Alright, so definitely uh Throw up there and actually doesn't sound or feel bad. It just looks fucking filthy. But um, it looks like we're definitely gonna need that little locking pin that goes on this little nipple here. That's it so far, and this shit is it's filthy. I'm like, I don't know what was going on, you know. And I'm, I'm hoping it's not a crack case because I do smell a little bit of gear oil. I'm hoping that this thing wasn't bouncing around in here, you know, and like. Crack this case. This looks like this looks pretty new, but after I clean it, you know, that's when we'll actually figure out what is going on, because this is just a fucking mess. So, clutch side too. Look at this. Look, you know, this is not look happy. This is like rear main seal, you know, or it smells like oil. I'm hoping it's just not dip fluid. I'd rather not deal with that, but. I'm gonna pop this off and put it on the engine stand, right? And we're gonna get the you know half from the top and the bottom. Here we go. All right, so Pete, I just bust all these like a quarter, right? But oh, if this show is gonna focus, you can see something was dancing around in here. All right, look on this edge. There you go. Look right here. God damn it. Right. See, bouncing off the light a little bit. But right here, along these edges, it's shaved down on all these. Right along the edge. Something was dancing around in here. And, you know, you could definitely tell because you know, your pressure plate isn't supposed to be like this. Ain't no intro. Yo, somehow, I looked over this somehow, but you know, like these these valves in there looking actually okay. They don't look too, you know what I'm saying, too mashed up. They don't look too crazy. They actually look pretty healthy. And then I was coming to these spark plugs. All right, somebody cared about this car at one point. Because Pete, spark plugs don't look all that crazy. Need, I mean, but I've, I've seen a lot hell worse. Then I come to this, right? This crack pipe. Look at that. Actually, is an aluminum crack pipe. The head looks like, oh, like it's okay. You know, there's no damage on these valves. Everything is moving, clicking, clackety, in and out, just fine. This is how we really worried about. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find what I'm looking for once I get the pan off. Let's turn this bitch over real quick. Let's see. Oh, you can hear it. There you go. Which one? Who's knocking? Who's knocking? I'm going to say it's this one. That one right there. One of these two back here. Yeah, it's probably this one. That's who's knocking. You know, and then we got a frozen water pump too. So, next shit is, um, you know, clean, and then we're going to repair. Oh, fuck, this nigga, he glue it on? This, this, this gasket don't want to let go. Holy shnikes. All right. All right, this is... This is not cool, but look what we found. This shit will focus. Can you see it? See little pieces of metal? Look at this. So that's probably 
bearing. Oh, super shiny. Fuck, I'm making a mess. metal shavings yeah hey, so that happened I get the rest of this shit off here yeah, this thing does not want to focus and I'm gonna pull the pan off all right we out my guy <laughs> my guy <laughs> My guy, hold on. Fuck up, let's zoom in. Okay. See that silver shit? <laughs> Look at that, but hold on. I'm gonna put a screwdriver in there. Everything's off, right? Except for the crank. I didn't take the pan off. Or, and I'll throw lower timing bullshit in there. The intermediate shaft. I'm about to flip this bitch over, pop the pan off, and um, we'll take a look at uh, with the bearings that we're pretty sure are, are hammered. You know? And then um, after that, clean. You know I'm saying we got some, some <coughs> rust. <laughs> And then um, it's raining today. It's kind of wild. I think I'm just going to push this shit back a little bit and then try to get the, the water pressure thing, sprayer. I can't talk shit. But I'm going to get that little pressure washer out here and then blast this whole thing up and blast that. You know, we're going to try and clean it up as best as we can before we make it pretty. So this is the gross part. This is the annoying shit, you know. It's doing the the oil prep and getting all the little gunk and tiny little crevices and stuff, but it's necessary. And then we're gonna start diving into all these parts. I mean, it's, it's got parts and parts and parts, and you know what I'm saying, just chilling up all over the fucking place. That's a whole fucking wall of parts. That's a whole fucking wall of parts. It's, it goes all the way around, you know. So it's it's gonna. I'm just gonna start going through all the parts, and we'll find. Um, Everything that's for this. Let's go. Some more big bits and pieces down here. I've seen a lot worse. Sound like metal. Whatever that is. I don't know. That's not what we came to see, though. We came to see the car crash, not the car show. You never want to see the car show. You want to see the car crash. Hello. Knock, knock. <laughs> That's what a spin bearing looks and sounds like. <laughs> Bless you. Man, it's supposed to be tight like this. Right. Yeah. 
that's wood number one, two, three. Nope, oh, it's number one, two, three. It's number four. And that's all, folks. <laughs> so, I wonder if one eight bearings are the same size as two eight. But even though I have a set, they're for another car. They're obviously for a one eight, since I'm talking about them. But the other thing is that, like, I want to put race bearings. You know what I'm saying? I, I put, I got the order in for race bearings. So we just, we're gonna rock that. See what them race bearings is like. What they be like? What they bout be bout?